This is the Tech Podcast Network. If it's tech, it's here. I'm going to show you a product that will allow you to produce your audio podcast from home or remotely with your iPad or computer. You're going to hear a lot of ors in this. Stay tuned. You're watching CES 2014 coverage of the Tech Podcast Network. TPN.TV partners include DropCam.com and their newest cloud-based web cameras. Visit TPN.TV slash DropCam. Hi, I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the Audacity to Podcast.com here at CES 2014 with the Tech Podcast Network. And I'm at the Griffin booth here with Jatan. And thank you so much, Jatan, for demonstrating this product. Thank you for saying my name right. Now, this is the Studio Connect HD, yes. and I saw this. Right now, we see an iPad connected to it, but tell me, what are its connection capabilities? Okay, well, there's a few connections that you can do, and like you said, there's going to be a few ORs here. Uh, in the front of the unit, we have two combo jacks. That's going to be XLR and quarter-inch input, so that's pretty much anything that you can think of as far as instruments or microphones go. Each one of these inputs is its own individual channel, so the Studio Connect HD will actually support multi-track recording. Each one of these inputs uh, has its own gain knob and phantom power. So if you don't have a powered microphone, you can use that as well. On the back of the unit, we actually have a uh, in and out 5-pin MIDI connection, as well as USB MIDI connection for USB keyboards. There's a balanced stereo output on the back. That would be for studio monitors. Uh, and on the back of the unit as well, we decided not to hardwire uh, the Studio Connect HD to any particular device. On the back there's a mini USB and uh, we'll support the cables for, or provide the cables for 30 pin, Lightning, and Mac. Oh. So what I'm hearing is we can connect this to a Windows, a Mac, iPad. You could connect it to a Windows. Windows is not supported right now. Uh, that's always a possibility, uh, but right now it's supported in Mac OS X. Okay, awesome. So this could be something where all we would need to take, if I wanted to do a podcast from my hotel room, all I would need to take is this and the iPad. That, the iPad, or an iPod Touch, or an iPhone. Awesome, making it even smaller then and even more portable. And you said that this records into four channels, so since we have just two XLR inputs, how do those four channels work out and how would that show up in a, in a program that can record four channel audio? So rather than four channels, there's actually two, cha there's two stereo inputs. So each one of those would be a left and right channel, right? So that's where the four come in. So if the app supported it, what you would see would be two tracks and each track would have a left and right. So that would be stereo. Uh, and you could, if the app supported it, you could select which instruments you are using, uh, and if, and you could select two instruments at a time. Uh, that's that's where you get the four channels from, the left and right on two inputs. Awesome. And I know Audacity, Adobe Audition, many apps out there do support multiple channels as long as the device does. And you're saying this is a USB 2.0 device, so it can support all of these things. That's correct. It's an awesome device. We'll share some pricing and availability with you right after this. Let me tell you about DropCam. DropCam makes this amazing camera that's very simple to use. You simply set it up, which is super easy. I say simply because it is simple to do. You set it up and you can be live streaming either a public or a private stream. This works great for family events, for security, for monitoring your children or your pets while you're gone. You can access the stream through a computer, through a mobile device like an iPhone or an Android phone or a tablet. It is really easy and affordable for you. Check out tpn.tv slash dropcam for more information and to order your own. That's tpn.tv slash dropcam and you'll discover how easy it is to set up and get up to 30 days of recording. tpn.tv slash dropcam. So Jatan, the iStudio Connect HD looks amazing. Tell us about pricing and when we can get it, where we can find more information about it. The Studio Connect HD should be available fall of this year, that's 2014. And uh, we're looking at a price point of about $199.99. Awesome. And where can people go for more information? GriffinTechnology.com. And if you wanted to look at all of our offerings for CES, that's www.GriffinTechnology.com 
sports slash CES 2014. Awesome. Thank you very much, Jatan. This is an awesome product. I'm really excited about it, and I think you might be too. So check it out, and check out all the other videos that I'll be posting from CES 2014 at theaudacitytopodcast.com as well as tpn.tv. I'm Daniel J. Lewis. Thank you for watching.